it doesn't smell very pleasant it smells more like oil it just smells like empanadilla <laughs> you know like that trans fat oil hola mi gente it's mariluz here and welcome to my channel i'm gonna have to excuse my voice today because i'm a little sick but today we're talking about the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage Foundation. I have it right here. So if you're interested on how it's going to work on my oily, acne-prone skin, just keep watching. Now this is the packaging right here. I really like it. Like I like the simplicity of it. And it's very on par with Smashbox branding. You know, sort of simple. Now this foundation costs $36 for 1.0 fluid ounces. It comes in 40 different shades. It's supposed to be a full matte formula that it's good for all skin types. So we're talking about normal, dry, combination, and oily skin. Now it also claims that it's a 24-hour full coverage formula, that it's oil and shine control, it has a soft focus blurring effect, and that it is waterproof. And if you go into the Sephora website, it also says that it's sweat resistant and it won't look cakey or cause blemishes. Now you can only get it at Sephora and in the Smashbox website or Smashbox stores. They won't carry it at Ulta since it's a Sephora exclusive. But with that said, I actually have two tones right here. We have 3.05 and 2.35. I did use the shade finder on the Sephora website on the mobile app. And depending on which foundation I would choose to be a match, um, it came with these shades. Now when I went to the store and swatched them, one looks very dark for me and another one looks like too light for me. So I decided to buy both and sort of mix them together to find like a more closer match. So for reference, I'm an Estee Lauder 3W2 and I use the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation in the shade 51WY. I wanted to give you a comparison how these two shades look against the uh, Estee Lauder and the Urban Decay one. Now I'm going to move on with application. The box says to start with the photo finish primer which happens to be my holy grail primer and then apply a small amount of foundation and blend it well. But if you go to the Sephora website it does say to apply moisturizer and then primer and then apparently the formula reveals its true color within 60 seconds and it does sets quickly. So it really doesn't say if it's better applied with a brush or a sponge so we're going to test those out today. Okay so I applied my moisturizer and this is the origin ginseng oil free energy boosting gel moisturizer and now i'm going to apply my smashbox photo finish foundation primer so i think my skin is ready to apply foundation and i'm going to be mixing these two shades in order to get a better match i'm going to be mixing it on the back of my hand and then applying it all over my face and then i'm going to blend the foundation with a brush on this side and with a beauty sponge on this other side i am sick and i am short of breath so i'm doing my my best to get this video done um, but I think I applied this much of the 2.35 then about this much of the 3.05 now a little of this goes a long way so I'm not going to apply it all I just want to be able to mix it it doesn't smell very pleasant it smells more like oil it just smells like empanadilla <laughs> you know like that trans fat oil have you seen Krista's video where she's like smelling everything <laughs> I wonder what she would think about this foundation. Okay, so now I'm going to, with my finger, I'm going to apply it and spread it out. I think this should be enough. I do have to be quick, so I'm going to be blending it out fast. Hopefully, I can be super fast. I think that's enough. So I'm going to be blending this side with a brush. It does says to blend well, so I'm not even stippling. I'm more like swiping. And I make sure that I blend it on my neck since it's not like the perfect match. And then on this side, I'm going to use a beauty sponge. Okay, so I didn't get like the best match of the foundation, but just disregard that. I really don't know how much to apply of each to make sure that I have like a really good match yet. But let's move on. So it was really awkward me trying to uh, blend it really fast just so it doesn't dry. Usually when I only use a beauty tool, let's say if I choose a brush or maybe a beauty sponge, I do work on sec in sections, so I will just apply like one part here, blend it out, then one part there, blend it out. This time, I felt like I had to apply it completely first on my skin because I had to mix it on my hand and 
I don't know if you can tell, but it's already dry or almost dry on my hand. So I was really nervous that it wouldn't be enough to apply a full face of foundation. I'm going to blend this side a little bit more because it's a little weird. This is how the foundation looks like. It is a really full coverage foundation and it also says that it's buildable. I'm not going to build it because since a little goes a long way, I feel like I applied more than enough for the foundation not to start looking cakey. So just be aware of that. I want to do like a close up. So now I'm going to just to finish up the rest of my face and then I'll come back to keep talking about the foundation. So this is how my foundation is looking so far after I applied everything else. I applied some bronzer, blush, highlighter. Now I'm going to be using the Too Faced uh, Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Drop Dead Red and I'm going to pair it with a lip liner. Okay, now I'm looking very pale with this lipstick but it's one of my favorite lipsticks for, for fall if I want to be like really bold. I did mess it up a little bit over here but who cares like i really don't care today but so far the foundation looks really really good so right now it is 10 24 um so we'll see how my foundation is going to be looking throughout the day i'm going to be around the house mostly doing nothing but i do want to show you how it's going to work during the day and then give you my final thoughts at the end of this day now i'm going to be really honest my eyes are watering every two seconds and i feel like the need to blow my nose all the time i'm gonna do my best not to do that but i can't make any promises <laughs> so i'll see you in a few hours so it is 1 44 in the afternoon it hasn't even been four hours i think my foundation looks really really oily it looks cakey so yeah so at this point i would have bought i mean on the perimeters of my face it doesn't look that bad but on this area right here it looks really cakey and i don't like it it even made my lipstick or my liquid lipstick bleed a little bit so i wanted to do a close-up and then start blotting in front of you and i may take or remove my lipstick during the day because i'm feeling really uncomfortable not only because i'm sick but because my foundation looks like I don't know too heavy so i think because i'm approaching the ring light more closely um it's blurring my face so i'm going to lower the lighting so you can see like truly see how my face is looking don't be scared so this is what i see you guys it is not pretty so of course it rubbed up a little bit on my nose because i've been trying to not blow my nose and sort of like clean it a little bit but it is breaking on this area right here. And then, I don't know if you can tell, but my lipstick is bleeding. And usually it doesn't bleed. Like, it does stay well for a long period of time. And I haven't been eating. I just ate, like, some strawberries and a little bit of chips. And that was it. Because the foundation is so oily and greasy right now. Can you tell here? And here? I just think it looks like a horror movie. <laughs> Um, so in the perimeters of my face, to be honest, like it looks really good. Like on my uh, forehead, it looks amazingly good. And then on like on my cheeks, it looks good. I even think it doesn't help with texture. Like you can still see my texture because it's so full coverage. But it doesn't look too bad. Like that grease there or um, how oily it got, it doesn't look too bad. It's just like on my T-zone and then this area like where my mouth is. That's the worst part ever. And I just don't like it. And it's only been three hours, you know. Like, I would forgive a foundation if it looked like this after a whole day. But it hasn't been not even five hours. So, that is not good news. So, with that said, I am going to blot and I'm going to use the beauty sponge to blot. Usually, I use, like, a toilet paper or something. But I don't think it would survive if I do it with a toilet paper. Because it is doesn't look like it's transfer proof. It just looks like if I touch it, it's going to melt away. and just going to come off on my hands. So, this is how I'm looking after, like, I sucked all the oils of my skin. And I'm going to do a close-up as well. So, I feel like it looks better a little bit after I blot it. But still... It does not control oil. It does not control shine. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Um, but right now, it is 7.36. And I've been sleeping for the last three hours or so. I've, I fell asleep um, around 4. My body just needed some rest. I'm really, really sick. <laughs> So we're going to see how this foundation looks like. Obviously, it did rub off on my nose. I couldn't help myself. I had to blow my nose. It didn't go that much worse besides just rubbed off on some places while I was sleeping. I do want to give you a close-up of how it's looking. So this is how oily I am looking right now. Of course, I don't have no foundation on this area because I've been rubbing it off. But here, I also have no foundation. I think this is because I was sleeping. And then on this area as well. I mean, it didn't break up any more than um, 
than before so it didn't collect that much on my fine line so that's a good thing So I just feel like I've put this foundation through the ringer <laughs> to see if it really lived up to the hype. I really don't think it does, especially with that oil and shine control claim and the waterproof claim. I mean, I did get a little sweaty and it's not sweat proof at all. And also, I don't think it does last for 24 hours. I haven't even used it for 12 and this is how it's looking. So I feel like to be a 24 hour full coverage oil and shine control and to be a waterproof foundation, it does not live up to it. I'm going to blot right now and see how it's looking and I am going to use a beauty blender. I do think like after blotting it looks better. So this is how the foundation is looking after blotting. I don't think this foundation is good for oily skin types. I just don't think so. I do feel like I did apply a little bit more than I was supposed to. So I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt on that side. Besides not being waterproof, oil control shine and... 24 hour full coverage so i will use it with the mindset that i do have to block constantly and then it is not transfer proof so if that is something that puts you off i would just stay away from the foundation i think there's too many things against the foundation for me to approve it so anyways i do apologize again because i'm sick i did schedule my film day for today and i wasn't counting on getting sick <laughs> so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this foundation if you want to see more from this channel i'm gonna leave you two videos right here so you can check them out and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification button. I post every Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!